Hey YouTube, Travis here. Today we are going to finally install OS X Tiger into the 500 megahertz iBook G3 with 512 megs of RAM. This is, <coughs> like I said, the first iBook of this type to be made, and it just has a CD-ROM drive. Got the first CD in there now, and then the other three CDs sitting upside down there. And uh, I've never installed an Apple OS before, other than I had a Hackintosh last year, but that was a little different. So, CD is in. See what happens. I can hear the CD-ROM drive. I hope it's still good. Ooh. Now that's something different. Ah yes, now we know that we're supposed to be waiting. Ah, finally a change. Okay. This does look a little familiar. Here. Use English as the main language. Oh good, and the trackpad still works. It means I plugged the cable back in correctly. There we go. Now I'll get the camera a little more stable. Licensing stuff. This trackpad seems good, it just seems it's, it's very worn out. Could use a cleaning. Okay, now I'm really hoping this part works. This is uh, select a destination volume to install the Mac OS X software. We got nothing. That's why I was really hoping that hard drive was still good. I mean, hell, at least the screen works, right? Let's see. If I remember correctly, here's the disk utility. Oh, that CD ROM sounds terrible. <laughs> I probably got to format this to an OSX file system. Oh, there we go. So we have a 40 gig SATA drive, or the 40 gig, sorry, Seagate drive. And what's that, so 37.2 megabyte? drive there. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a CD-ROM. <laughs> oh, they do install it on this, please. Okay, let's erase, maybe? Okay. Interesting. Okay, I'm back. All the websites I checked said to choose uh, OS Extended with Journaled, and from what I was able to gather, Journaled is uh, Apple's protection against data loss from things like power surges or outages or whatnot. Um, definitely don't want a Unix or MS-DOS file system, and uh, I don't think I'll have to worry about case-sensitive stuff, so I'm going to leave it on OS X Extended Journaled. Mac OS 9 disk driver. Select this option. Use this device on the computer running. OS 9. Ugh. I don't think so. Okay, and I went ahead and went into security options. And uh, there's four options. One is called don't erase data, which is kind of what happens on a Windows machine when you delete a file and it goes to the recycling bin. Uh, and then you empty the recycling bin, it's still there. Um, but uh, it's just the directory doesn't see it as there. So it could potentially be recovered. Zeroed out just fills the hard drive with zeros, and then 7 pass and 35 pass does the zero out operation 7 and 35 times for people who are extremely paranoid about their data being recovered. Um, this drive 
should be empty. And I don't really care what was on it before, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to choose Don't Erase Data. I just called it iBook G3. Probably should name it something else, but that's okay. Erase. Erasing a disk will show all information. We get a little status bar down there. Oh wow, is it done already? I guess it is. Alright, so let's try and close this out. Oh, and there's our volume. Continue, please. Here we go. Oh, that CD-ROM sounds so good. <laughs> Alright, this should be just putting in CDs and watching bars, so I'll shut off the camera for now. Okay, so here we go. Remaining time is about two hours and nine minutes. I'm still on the first disc. Alright, I'll let you know when it's done. Okay, and it appears we're almost finished up with the installation. Ooh! All these different fancy languages. And spit my installation disc out. This is pretty cool. Tiger was the best uh, OS this guy could run. I wouldn't even try to do Leopard. Yes, I know it's Leopard, but I call it Leopard. Let's see. Probably should just say my computer does not connect to the internet. Oh boy. Sweet. I don't want to register. Just keep it and continue. Ah. Oh. Boy, I have to register. This is lame. The warranty for your Apple products does not require you to register the product. Continue. Mm -hmm. So it says does not require you to register, but it's not letting me continue. Let me work this out. Okay, now we have a few more questions. Um, say home. What best describes you? <laughs> I am in law. <laughs> I'm retired. I'll say other. I wouldn't describe myself as any of these people. Please. No. <laughs> I named myself Crunchy Dungus. <laughs> um... No, I don't want a password. Okay. Ooh, creating my account. Fancy, fancy.
Ugh, jeez, oh man, sure, whatever. Yes, it is 2005, actually. Perhaps later I'll give a review on how well OS X Tiger runs on a computer with pretty much the minimum requirements, uh, which was like, it might have been 512 megs of RAM as a minimum, I'm not sure. I do know that the processor, like this is the earliest computer that can run Tiger without having to do extensive, um, I wouldn't say hacking, but changes to the computer. Okay, well, it looks like we're up and going. We can close that out and we can look at about this Mac. You can see OS X 10.4. Nothing, so I'm going to have to do a software update on that. 506 megs of RAM on 500 megahertz. All right, so here we have it. Well, that wasn't too bad actually. Uh, the install took as it estimated roughly around two hours um, so I'll be using this as my computer for the next couple of weeks and uh, probably give you guys an overview on how everything went you know speed wise we could play YouTube videos whatever